Studying these younger features provides us, and it looks like we have some really exciting geological discoveries coming from China. A crater that has not been officially confirmed, and is referred to as the Jinling Crater, and a crater that seems to be the largest created during the period referred to as the Holocene, or basically the age of humans. But now scientists have also confirmed this. A well-preserved structure in China that may force us to update our understanding of how frequently some of these objects strike our planet. Because in this case, this seems to have happened in a relatively recent past. And so once again, this is referred to as the Jinuin Crater. Located on a hillside in the Guangdong province of southern China and representing the first confirmed impact crater in southern China. The region that's actually known for one thing. Widespread deposits of granite and intense chemical weathering because of very high rainfall and super high humidity. So a lot of these geological features don't really survive for a very long time. But this crater survived because it seems to be pretty young. But of course, one of the main reasons this is so significant is because this is literally the largest such crater formed in the last 10,000 years. But importantly for both astronomers and geologists, this discovery demonstrates that the scale of impacts by a lot of these smaller rocks seems to have been much greater than we previously thought. An important basis for understanding the actual distribution and of course the overall impact rate for some of these somewhat dangerous bodies. And so the main point of most of these discoveries is just the fact that a lot of these smaller, harder to detect rocks still actually produce quite frequent collisions. And even today, we actually still have trouble detecting them in outer space. Because even this crater was produced by something that's just 30 meters across. As a matter of fact, modern studies suggest that up to 40,000 such asteroids could be in orbit close to the planet, and so the chance for a similar collision in the next few hundreds of years is pretty high. 